finger for the 7-3 blank. Seven foot three inches blank. I'm gonna make a retro board, single pin, or a thumb board. Textile. Uh, so you don't know. Um, I'm gonna cut this, but I'm not gonna shape it in a couple of weeks or something. So I'll find the easiest one. I'll brought the stringer in my room. The video, and also I'm gonna lay it down to the floor under my bed. So we get a little bit more straight. Um, I had the plywood in the garage. It's a turn, a curve. So I'm gonna lay. And it doesn't matter as long as you compress the phone into it, it's gonna come straight again. But what I noticed, even though I raised it to four inches on the nose, that's kind of a lot of rocker for my Florida's surfing. If I make a board less than 7.3, I'm gonna take down the nose a little bit so it will be less rocker. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna probably do a 2.6 thickness all over. I mean, in the center, of course, 22 inches wide, and I'm still debating if I'm gonna do a 7 footer or a 7.3 as the stringer is. Um, the Clark Foam um, 7.3, which I'm copying this. But if you always want to do a much less, I guess, on a or some stuff. Yeah, 7271 or a 7.3. Spring it on my bike rack, attached it because I'm still piling it. Taking those bumps, bumps down and. I'm gonna use this as a core for the template. I want it to be as smooth as I can because uh, I'm gonna use one piece of foam. From the insulation foam, just one piece for $20. And I'm gonna put that this on top of the foam and cut it. Like if I'm cutting a lot of stringers on the foam. Actually, I'm using the stringers as a template to create the blank, and I'm gonna put them together. I'll explain later when I get it. But this will be laying flat on the foam, and I'm gonna cut. It's a 48 inches wide foam, so probably cut 20, 12, 12 um, pieces of foam trace to the stringer. Then get them together. That way it will be a lot cheaper to create the blank. And I'm buying it from a distributor or buying the three pieces of foam and hot water in it. of epoxy I'm sorry the pieces of VPS together so you see that line I'm assuming that I will clear it up after spackling or with a tint of white paint you can fix that still got a few marks from the rail bands but I'm not gonna touch that because I decided to sell the blank 
already shaped. I'm not going to glass this board. I'm not too crazy with big boards. This is a seven footer. I've written in the past a seven, six, and I sold it after the third ride. It was a flip anyways. I bought it to, to sell that one. And this one, I thought I wanted to have a big board for small waves here in Florida. But like I said, I mean, I, I don't think I'm gonna glass this. It's just, I'm a short border fish, fish actually. I like fishes. I uh, have my 6.2 and I love that fish. I had a 6.0 before, but it didn't have the proper volume for me to ride. So I custom shaped my first one, which is um, on YouTube as well. Okay, this is the blank that I was working on. I have... 13 hours and five minutes on this blank. Cost me around just 30 bucks, let's say. I paid 20 for the insulation EPS and 18 for the glue, but I didn't use the whole glue. I like it how it came and this was a nice project. Mentioned that I'm listed for 95 bucks locally, which is mm, super reasonable because blanks um shaped are around 88 to 110 dollars. So being already shaped for that price is just an awesome price. Okay, this is goodbye. Thanks for watching.